Hey guys. Hi. Hi. <sighs> Thanks for taking some time out of senior year to join me at the beach. Of course. Thanks. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mrs. Malone. I'm the student assistance counselor at Ocean Township High School. And we're just taking some time to relax, right? Soak in the sun. Yes. Smell the salt water. Feel that breeze on your face. So nice. Feel nice and relaxed? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe that's a perfect time to talk about senior year stress. Yeah, I definitely know this year has been a little stressful, juggling college applications, schoolwork, and then I play sports and I'm in a lot of clubs. So it's like hard because I also want to see my friends. So it's just a lot to handle and like figure out when to do what. Yeah. I think a lot of seniors can relate to that. And really, I think stress in senior year is kind of unavoidable, inevitable, just kind of like in life. Mm -hmm. And you know what, stress in and of itself isn't a bad thing. It actually can help you perform, whether it's on an athletic field or on a stage or even in the classroom when you're doing your work. It helps motivate you, focus you. Um, but I think we need to be aware of maybe when, when stress gets to be too much. So what might be some of those signs? How do we know when stress has become not helpful? What can we look for? I definitely think like losing sleep is something you should look out for. Yep. Or maybe like losing your appetite or like interest in things that you usually are interested in. Definitely. Like a bad case of senioritis. Ah, oh, when senioritis really kicks in hard. Or when you spend or when you spend like 20 minutes in your car after a club and it's six o'clock and you're listening to like sad music and you're almost crying but like not really yeah that's probably a good sign that it might be time to find some new strategies to help you yeah <laughs> is is this something we can talk to you about absolutely that's exactly what I'm here at the school for to help students with everything from the daily stuff to some of the extraordinary things that students might be facing. But I'm here as a general resource and support person to help you with all of these things that you're trying to navigate and be successful with. So where in the school can we find you? So my office is up in D Hall, I'm in D200. And students are welcome to stop by anytime. Pop in in your schedule when it works, if I'm with another student, I'll find a time that works for both of us to meet again. Um, when I come to your room, do I have to talk to you or can I just, like, chill? <laughs> so in my job, it's to support you however you need it at that point in time. So maybe you need some problem solving. Maybe you need some strategies. Maybe you just need a quiet time and space to decompress and reset to be able to get on with the rest of your day. But together, I help each student figure out what are we gonna do to help you with what's going on right now for you. And when we do come and talk to you, is it confident between the two of us or do you involve other people? So I make everyone a promise. Everything that we talk about stays within the room or at the beach, if we happen to be at the beach. <laughs> However, nothing will get shared out without you being aware of it, without us agreeing, because maybe we want to involve somebody else in the conversation. But nothing will get shared without you agreeing and you knowing. The only exception to that is if you're in danger in some kind of way. And my most important job is to keep you safe. And so if I feel like I have to involve other people, I'll still let you know. But that's the only time that I have to do that. So what do you guys think? You think you're ready for senior year? You feeling a little bit less stressed? It's nice to know to have someone to talk to. Them. Awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Thanks, guys. Maybe we should just relax a little bit more before you dive back into all that senior year stress. That sounds good to me. Mm -hmm.